Uh, I'm Dr. Maxim Chumak here in Fort Lauderdale Robotic Hair Transplant Clinic and uh, we wanted to, to create those mini series to discuss different options and uh, to pinpoint why I think and uh, a lot of other happy customer concur why robotic hair restoration is the best way to go. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to mention is um, after years of uh, different methods and um, uh, uh, different uh, variety of different results, uh, the robotic technology was created to compensate for all the human imperfections that uh, contributed to uh, less than perfect outcomes of the surgeries. One of the thing is, as you probably know, humans are not perfect. We can have our good days, bad days, we can have different emotion problems going the same day and um, as a surgeon I know that if I have a little cold or I'm a little upset for, for a variety of different reasons, my performances as a surgeon will be affected. Hair restoration surgery takes uh, several hours with a lot of repetitive motion and a lot of stages that have to be performed perfectly to ensure the final outcome. That's why it's so important to minimize any chance of imperfect um, performances. For example, when, um, when we do manual sites or when we do manual extraction, even a slight deviation of the tool can damage the hair follicle. Not less to say that my performances will degrade because I have to spend some time up to two hours sitting in very fixed position with magnifying glasses like that with that ability to move because of the focus distance has to remain the same. If I move slightly a little bit too closer, a little bit too far, I'm gonna be out of focus. That's why uh, by the end of extraction, typically those surgeons that do it manually will have big degradation in the quality. Same thing we're talking about um, older the strip procedures. While the extraction is faster, there's a lot of work is invested into uh, uh, dividing those grafts and it's typically done by uh, hair transplant technicians with various degrees of education. There's no formal education for hair transplant technicians. So with the robotic technology, we eliminated the most tedious parts of the procedure that might be affected by less than perfect human performance.